Good day everyone. So today I'll be walking you through the steps of downloading the BRFSS data from the CDC website. The easiest route of getting access to the BRFSS is searching through Google. I will type BRFSS and enter. It takes us directly to the BRFSS CDC and here we are on the home page of the Behavioral Risk Factor Surveillance System. On this page, there are lots of information about the BRFSS, the questionnaire, the survey data and documentation. And um, of interest to us is the survey data and documentation. You can spend some time going through all the other elements on the website. There are quite some interesting information there also. So here we have the survey data and documentation information information about how the survey has been collected, the telephone survey, and all the other data that is available on the page. So, of interest was the annual survey data, and clicking on that, we can find the information of this data here from 2011, 2018, 20, 2001 to 2010, and even older years up to 1984. The annual survey data um, has data pooled um, across the years um, and Usually, you can get as many years as possible, 2011, 2018, 2010, 20, 2001 to 2010, and then um, wait. Um, so you can actually choose any year you want. And even if you, if you want to visualize the data, you can actually use the prevalence and trend database to visualize the, um, the variable of interest. So let's use the 2018 VRFSS data here. The good thing about it is that all the information you need is aggregated on one page. The, the overview, the code book, the calculated variables, because once you open the, once you access the data, you actually realize that there are some computed variables that are there. And we have the complex sampling with which you would need if you are aggregating data across time is, and um, the comparability of, of the data across the years, which is quite important. Over the years, some questions have changed, some codings have changed, and it's important when you're aggregating data to be able to be able to, be able to see these differences. So, the data files. Here we have, um, we have the, the ASCII um, format, the SAS transport format, which you would, which, um, if you are used to SAS, you know that it's the SAS transfer format as an extension with XPT, and you can actually Im um, import XPT into SPSS into Stata. So it's pretty user friendly. And um, but my interest today is talking about the core SAS. Even the good thing about this SAS um, resources is that you you can generate all your data in SAS and then export as a CSV that can be used anywhere. And the interesting part about this is that all these five, all these five or six files usually are like skeletal elements of the SAS table. The SAS table comes as the SES7BDAT extension. It's quite long, but that's what the usual trademark of the SAS table format is. So, you would have to save all of this data, all of these files inside one folder and start editing just one file and run everything. Now, that's pretty much the sum of everything, but I'm going to walk you through the steps right away. So let's start downloading our data. So we, there are two ways we can go about this. We can either click 
and then it will give us a blank page with the um, file. I have this downloaded before, so let me just delete from here. Delete so we can walk through the steps afresh now. So, um, so click once gives you a blank page, and then you can you can then save into the folder. That blank page disappears, or you can right click and save link as. So on save link as it gives you this um the no page but directs you to where you you save it. I personally like the right clicking, but anyone works. So here we're downloading everything into the same folder. They are small files, but they are quite big once you merge the data together. So they are like skeletal pieces. Once you once you run the code, everything comes to one giant massive frame. Now that we've downloaded these files, these SAS resources, we still need one more file. This file is the core data set. Um, here we have the under the data file the 2018 BRFSS data. So this is actually where data is, is an ASCII format. So we need to extract that. So remember I told you about the SAS transport file that we use to export into SPSS and OSTATA, but that is not our interest for this um, this tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to download this right away, and I'll still download into the same folder here. Now this is a zip file, and by the time we open this zip file, we'll see what we have inside. So here it is. So we have, let me close that. So we have this LLCP 2018 ESC folder, and this folder has the .esc file there, and you notice it's 869 megabytes, which is quite big. So now that we have all of this framework ready, we can now go ahead and generate our data, our SAS table. So the first thing for us to do is to open the SAS out 18LLP.SAS. Yes, so we're opening this, we'll be opening the SAS out 18 lscp.sas and um, this will generate a list of some interesting features. Here there are a lot of things calling for your attention, green, blue, pink, question what do I do? So the most important thing now is for you to go to the part where the instructions are and that will solve all the problem. Here, um, so let's keep all these lines and then go to this part where the instructions are. There are four key instructions, specified specify parts of where the ESCII data file is stored, specified part of where SAS data set is to be stored, specified part of where SAS format library is stored, and specified part of where the format assignment statement is stored. Now, the issue is this especially for this first two. This is the location where we downloaded the ASCII file. You know we have the zip file and we have the folder. Usually I just like keeping everything inside our folders. So this would be the site where my data file is stored. However, I would want to have a separate place where my SAS file is to be stored SAS data set is to be stored. If I use the same file, usually SAS gives the information that the lib name has been assigned. So <clears throat> I feel it's just appropriate to just make it separate that way. And um, it doesn't cost me additional work, actually. So 
let's get started. Usually for all these four instructions, there is a, an asterisk mark in front of it. So you just have to remove the asterisk and then this line becomes active. With this line being active, there is um, this information in quotes. We have to remove that and change it to the path that the file is stored on our data set, which would be your own data set. Now, the example that I've been given here is the CBRFFS 2018, and then to end with this .asc. So, what we'll do is that going back to this particular folder, this is where the file is .asc. I will right-click here, and then copy address as text. Going back here, I will remove everything inside the inverted commas and then paste here. So I have the LSCP 2018 ASC, but I will prefer to have the .asc there, similar to what I have here .asc. So I'll just write. So here I have the. I I still have not gotten this. This is the folder. So I need this to be here. So I'll just right click here, copy, and good. Then, and that is it. So we've done the first part of the work. The second part is going to the lead name, the part where data is to be stored. And here it is. Um, this is a line. So I will remove the asterisk here and I would prefer to store it just where every other stuff is here. So I will write copy address as text here. And so that is it. Um, users, SAS, BRFSS. Good. Now, um, the third thing is that the leave name, um, the part where SAS format 18.sas7b. C80 is located. I will remove this asterisk again and then I will you'll notice that this format 18 SAS7B cart is located inside this folder. So and it's still the same folder. So I really don't have to do any other thing. I just have to paste it, paste the initial folder here also. And then the fourth one file name, remove the asterisk, and then part where the format assignment statement is. For me, everything is still in the same folder, so it makes it easy. This is the format 18. Formats, the, um, the format statements, format statements.sas. So I have two format statements here. Usually I don't, I'm not really bothered about what they are, what's the difference, but I just download it all the same. So. Everything is in the same folder, so I will just go here and paste. With that, my job is done. And what do I do next? I might just want to save, um, save what I've done first. And I would run, use the um, running man here. And then, so here it is. Everything is running. No error so far, and boom, we are done. 437, 436 records were read from the info data in question, where is, the, where, where is the data set? So I'll go to my library, data out. Yeah, so this is SAS data. Good, yeah, it is. So, um, so we have the state fields code, everything here inside this folder quite extensive you know there are a lot of missing information so some cleaning is needed for this data set to be usable okay and then i want to check whether we have all the complete numbers 4000 437 436 um responses good